Hi everybody, my name is Tom Stewart. Welcome to Line of the Week number 206, Motif Development Using Melodic Rhythms. It's time again to take a rhythm, add notes to it, and then improvise with it over tunes. This form of improvisation is called motif development. This week's line serves as an example mainly containing four motif development tools melodic variation, rhythmic variation, diminution, and augmentation. Before I get to the line of the week, and so we're all on the same page, here are the chords to the progression. The chords are A flat major 7, E major 7, G flat major 7, A flat major 7, D flat major 7, C minor 7, B flat minor 7, E flat 7, resolving to A flat major 7. Here are the chord scales I'm using for this week's line. The chord scales are important because they contain chord tones and agreeable tensions. I use the notes from this chord sound to form shapes on the fretboard. I go from shape to shape, often resolving tension by half step at or near the point of chord change. The chord scales are E flat pentatonic, B major, D flat melodic minor, E flat pentatonic, A flat major, E flat pentatonic, A flat major, E melodic minor, resolving to E flat pentatonic. Here's a melodic rhythm I'm using this week. <laughs> Here's the line of the week with Guitar Pro backing to make sure I'm getting the notes and the rhythm accurate. Let's look specifically at the line of the week. In measure one, there's the original motif, meaning the melodic rhythm with notes that fit the harmony. In measure two, there's a melodic variation of the, of the original motif. Measure three contains another melodic variation of the original motif, followed by an eighth note extension in measure four. Measures five and six are an example of augmentation. The time values of the original motif are increased. Conversely, the time values in measure seven are shortened this is an example of diminution. Although the notes and rhythmic values are changed, the same number of notes, four, are contained in the ideas, providing continuity. Measure eight contains a rhythmic and melodic variation of the original motif, followed by a whole note extension in measure nine to end the line. Let me shift gears and ask you to head over to my website, stuartjazz.com, where you'll find an instructional video which deals with the finger style shapes I use. All my major pentatonic, melodic, minor, and diminished shapes are included in the video and associated PDF files. The files contain regular notation, tab, left hand fingering, right hand fingering, hammer-ons, and pull-offs. The video and files are $10 and your purchase helps support the channel. So that's all for this week. Take the melodic rhythm and see what you can do with it in your own music. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next week.